Hi and welcome to the video. Today we are going to talk about Das Bahani 2.0 and why it is the worst remix that was made in February 2020. And I'm going to start this new series where each month I discuss one song which is the worst remix that Bollywood releases in that month. And I'm pretty sure Bollywood is going to release a lot of remixes every month. They will never learn. So we'll have a lot of content to diss about and hate and to discuss so somebody's benefiting out of it so let's get right into it so why i hate this remix the reason this just like boils and curdles my blood is because first of all it ruined one of the best songs of my childhood it was such a fun song a very swaggy even before the word swag was known very stylish kind of a song and the production at that time was top notch and vishal shaker did a great job uh, second of all, it featured two great singers, right? Shan and KK. Uh, thankfully, the newer version features them as well. Uh, the production for that time in the original was amazing. Here, the production is on par with modern day production. Uh, the production has been done by Make Deep Pose. Uh, I know he has done some great songs in Dhoni and a lot of other films, but here, he kind of cannibalizes the original song. And what he does is, if you listen carefully, the initial riff, the synth riff in the new song is actually cut and chopped from the riff in the original song. You could, you could have tried and come up with a new riff at least, right? So that's even when the song begins, it's a big, big letdown. Okay, second of all, what they have done is they've added a female part. I'm, I'm totally for it. That's nothing wrong with that. But the energy of that song, the original song, was like a male kind of a energy, like uh, almost like Casanovas who were roaming around with girls and like firing guns. So that is imprinted in our head. So all that gets shattered here. And moreover, it's Tulsi Kumar. I know there might be some fans of hers like who like her a lot, but according to me, she's not a great singer at all. And she gets to sing in this lower kind of octave. I don't know why they keep doing it, but it doesn't sound good at all. And it's really, really bad actually. Uh, okay, so what else they have screwed up here is they have added a dance break in between the song. Why? Why? Why remove the original antras or the stanzas of the song, which were great, showed some musical depth, had some variation other than the intro verse and the chorus. You removed that and replaced that with some 16 bar, 32 bar dance break just so that Tiger Shop could dance a bit. We already know he can dance. Why are you doing that? You're just like demolishing the original song. Okay, so that's a big, big grouse for me. Another big grouse for me here is that even though they say it's a pretty modern hip hop and dance oriented production, it doesn't feel so. It just borrows those stupid elements from it, like those stutter effects. What is a stutter effect? You'll know when you listen to the song. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? Das Bahane, da 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 da, whatever. Like every song has to have that. Why? That's how it transitions into the chorus. That is very, very irritating. And the original had none of that. And it was still very smooth and very captivating. Okay, so this is about the song. They basically ruined a post-2000 classic. But the most frightening and disheartening part about this entire thing is that Vishal Shekhar themselves put their name on it. This is not a Tanish Bakchi remix. This is a Vishal Shekhar remix. So two things. First, now do we expect composers to kill their own babies? Like, are they doing it themselves? Why? And the second reason is that, and the scary part is, I think I know why. Let me share it with you. Uh, the thing is that they have given up. They have given up. They're saying that if somebody else is going to ruin our song, and making money of it if there is money to be made by killing one of our songs let's kill it ourselves and that is very very threatening and that is very very scary so now this doesn't mean that remixes will end 
this means that remixes will grow and composers will do it themselves this is a very scary thought and i hope this doesn't happen and i hope i'm proved wrong but if somebody as successful and accomplished as vishal shekhar can do this i dread the day when preetam and you know jatin lalit or even somebody like rahman i hope it won't come to that they start doing this so let's pray and hope that this doesn't happen so yeah for me the worst remix of the month february is das bahane 2.0 If you like this video please leave a like if there's anything you want to say to me anything at all put those in the comment section down below and if you want to keep watching more such content and if you like what I'm doing here please consider subscribing to the channel i need your help i need your support thank you